And we're back. Neil Isaacs, the Raleigh business broker. What's the best way to buy a business when working with a business broker? Today, we'll answer that and more in this edition of Ask an Intermediary. Today's question, Ask an Intermediary, comes from Bob. And Bob asked me, hey, Neil, what's the deal? This, this intermediary won't answer his phone. This business broker won't, won't return my calls. How do I get through? I want to buy this business. So Bob, I want to answer that question about basically how to work with business brokers. When business owners go to sell businesses, they can sell directly. They can list them themselves. They can sell them to employees. They can hire a broker. They have a lot of different options. But it's important for you to know as a business buyer that if a business owner has hired a business broker, then they have an agent, much like a, a, a homeowner hires a real estate agent, a business owner can hire a business broker to sell their business. Now, the way that most contracts work, listing contracts, we call them engagement agreements, basically says, Mr. Business Owner, I, the business broker, I'm going to sell your business. I'm going to do all of these services and in exchange, I will be compensated when you sell your business. So it's the sellers, they're not taking ownership of the business. They're in charge of helping to get the right price, getting the right marketing, keeping it confidential, getting it to the finish line. And the business broker and the business owner are tied together through that contract. So how does that affect you, Bob, business buyer? Um, well, we wanna be respectful to the business broker um, I have heard this before that a lot of business brokers are not responsive. Personally, I, I view it as my role to, to raise the bar for business broker, myself, my team. We try and get back to every single business buyer, even if, and this may be your case, even if the business is under contract. That's a, probably the most common reason why business brokers don't get back to business owners if they're inquiring about a business. Again, if I'm listing a business and I'm representing a seller, I get paid when they get paid, right? So I want to answer every call, right? I want to sell that business. This I want to do that on behalf of my seller. So I'm I'm jumping on that call, whether me or, or someone on my team, we are getting back to buyers pretty quick. Now, what we do in our office is when people inquire about a business and it's under contract, we just let them know it's under contract. But sometimes, and this is my assumption that most business buyers that aren't hearing back from business brokers are calling on businesses that are already sold. Now, you could take this the next step and say, hey, if that business broker is is thirsty, if they're getting back to me like yesterday on a business I inquired about today, maybe maybe there's not a lot of interest in that business. And that's why they're so quick to get back to to me as if I'm a business buyer. So you could you could make that assumption. You could probe about that with the business broker. What you do want to do, Dollar Bob, is understand that if any business broker is going to throw an NDA at you, a non-disclosure agreement, and that probably does have some language around your relationship with the owner of the business. The owner of the business does not want to talk to you directly. The owner of the business wants you to be screened by the business broker. So I would warn you not to circumvent the intermediary to respect the rules of the NDA that basically just says, hey, work with the business broker, let the broker be the the, the go-between. Interme intermediary literally means go-between. Let the business broker do that. Keep in mind, if it's quality listing, there is a lot of interest. And the business broker is looking at you, buyer Bob, or wh whoever you are as a buyer, to say, can this person A, afford the business, uh, come up with the money to, to get the business, B, are they proximal to the business? If it's Main Street, then 90% of business buyers are local. If it's if it's an M&A deal, they'll come from farther. And then um, proximal, they have the money. Does it make sense, right? So if I'm looking to buy a, an auto shop, but I've never ever touched automotive in my life, and I don't have a GM, uh, and if I'm a financial advisor and all of a sudden I want to buy an auto shop, Maybe I'm saying all the right stuff, but if I have another buyer and they just sold an auto shop or they just moved from another market that where they sold an auto shop, that makes a lot more sense. I'm going to that other buyer first, right? I'm going to, I'm going to respond to both of them. But realize if you're on the front burner or the back burner as a business buyer. The fourth thing I will tell you as a business buyer, as a broker, is we are listening 
to the feedback. We're listening to the tone. We're just thinking, is this business buyer going to be a pain to work with? How will my business owner client respond to this business buyer? You know, they're coming on really aggressive with me. I couldn't imagine how they would act in a buyer owner meeting. They're not following my instructions to sign the NDA, to not talk to the to the seller, to, you know, business brokers want to control the process. So my point in all of this, Bob, is when you're working with a business broker, just rec recognize their role in the deal and get pre-qualified to buy the business. You know, what business brokers like to hear is, this is the business I want. I'm only looking at this one. That's a quick tangent. When a business buyer inquires about every single business that you have listed, you're immediately downgraded as a buyer because we know you're not laser focused on the business that you inquired about. So if, if you're a buyer, get pre-qualified, show that you have the money. Get laser focused on the business that you are intending to, to get. Work with the broker. Just follow their rules. Sign their NDA. You know, talk to them. We we do a buyer screen. We don't release a book till a till a bro till a buyer signs an NDA and talks to us on the phone. And um, and then once you get the materials, read the materials. You wouldn't believe how many business buyers they they sign the NDA. They talk to us. We send a forty page book, and then the same hour they're like, "I want to go see the place." Well, did you read every? page of the book because we put a lot of time into putting together that information. The best thing you can do as a business buyer after you get a, a CBR, a SIM, a book, is to ask questions that aren't in the book. Business brokers like me are saying, oh, this, this buyer is asking good questions, Mr. Seller, Mrs. Seller. I think it's worth spending more time with them. They've asked to talk to you and they have the money. They're asking the right questions. This is who you want to be as a business buyer. Bob, I think I gave you a little bit more then you asked for when you said, how would I get to the business broker? I hope there was something useful in there. I appreciate you watching, whether you're a buyer, whether you're a seller, whether you're an advisor. These are the conversations that we have when we're selling small business. I am Neil Isaacs, the Raleigh business broker. Put your questions in the comments, subscribe, share this video, share this with somebody that is buying a business, selling a business, an advisor. Let's get this content out there. If you have a a question specific to your deal. We treat, we treat these things as highly confidential. Look me up on LinkedIn. Shoot me a, a message there. Happy to answer any questions. Thank you for watching. Until next time, mom.